Well, that is all for today. Thank you for tuning into the Midnight Hour. My name is Ellen Pugh, and I'll see you about a week from now. But until then, good night. Hello there. Oh, you again. Why don't I have a spot surprise for you? Actually, I'm in the chair with the gun, and you're standing over here. See you later. Oh! Now then, welcome to the Mid Midnight Hour, the after show for the Midnight Hour, where we cover headlines that we might have covered in the Midnight Hour if we covered headlines. Thing is, we cover, you know, serial criminals, but some of these headlines are just too tasty to pass up. So, we have today the Valentine's Day special. Relationship, sexual, just flat out weird murders, deaths, and more. So, we have four real headlines and four fake headlines. And it's up to you to figure out which one's which. So, we start off with the first. A man killed his girlfriend with a heroin overdose for having an affair. Apparently, he found out just the day before Valentine's. Absolutely rough. Then, whenever they were gonna go do drugs together, he gave her just a little bit more than she bargained for. Hey, at least she went out having a good time, yeah? Next up, headline number two, real or fake? A man is killed in a bizarre sexual incident involving both mistresses and a large sex toy. Well. I can't say I don't believe it not happening. Uh, well, that's just two mistresses? I mean, that's just double the trouble. I'm just saying, you don't, you don't need to mess with that. All right, yeah, we'll go with this one. A pedophile was beaten to death with a pickle jar by a childhood victim after the victim started stabbing them with a knife. Whew. Now, that pedophile, I mean, he really deserved it, but man, isn't that just a pickle of a situation? Yeah. Next up, a woman stabbed her husband to death, skinned him, cooked him, and placed his body parts on plates to feed to her kids. Now, that is just messed up. Now, I've seen a lot of chopped, but You'll never find some sort of human body parts as the mystery ingredient. That's just not something you want to see when you open up that mystery basket. I'm telling you. All right, coming up next, a 74 year old woman was found dead in their apartment with her husband's corpse in the freezer. And that corpse was on ice for about 11 years. Wow. I mean, talk about a cold shoulder. That is just so rough. You gotta feel for that poor guy. Man. All right, coming up next. A woman accidentally shoots her husband's lover while trying to kill her husband. You know, it's the old cliche story. Fit of rage, grab the gun, fire away. But you know, that's, that's just some kind of twist of fate that she just shoots the, the other person in the bed. Man, that is, that is not something you want to wake up next to in the morning, I'll tell you what. All right, second to last, a teenage girl attempts to sacrifice her friend for an anime character. Yeah, that reminds me of the Slenderman kind of thing, when two girls try to sacrifice their friend to Slenderman. That's just, that's just not it. Your husbando is not real, and it's just not worth it. And. Finally, today on our real or fake headlines, a woman's box of sex toys contained the decapitated head of her missing husband. It, it turns out that her she gave the box of sex toys to her neighbor to hold onto for her, and uh, what do you know, dead heads tend to stink a little bit. So the neighbor was able to you know use their big brain deduction skills and call the police. Now then. I'll give you five seconds to figure out which headlines were real or fake. One, two, three, four. All right, well, this is a nice piece. And, well, could you figure it out? The real headlines were the sex toys of Deadhead, the husband 
on ice. The husband cut up and served. Ugh. And the pedophile in a real pickle. Everything else, these are all fake. They're not, they're not real, they didn't happen. Hey, comment below which headlines you actually thought were real or fake and uh, see how wrong you were, all right? And until next time, uh, join us again for the mid-midnight hour where we'll cover some more headlines that just, and some more criminals that just didn't make the cut. Whoa, if there is one. <laughs>